Hey everyone, it's Keegan here and I'm back with another video for you guys. And I know I said that I was only going to upload videos between Monday and Friday, Saturday or Sunday for two videos a week. Well, today I'm off work and I'm not really doing anything right now and I'm kind of bored so I figured I'd make a video for you guys. So today's video I'm bringing you guys is a VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray update for Wednesday, June 2nd, 2021. And well, guys, it's June, and summer is just around the corner, my favorite season of the year. So, on Saturday, I went to the old Stracona Mall, in, I mean, the old Stracona Antique Mall, is what it's called, actually, in Edmonton, which... If you live in Edmonton and ever go around the old Stracona area, you might know what store I'm talking about. And from there I bought seven VHS tapes, which three of the VHS tapes that I bought are ones that I already own on Blu-ray, but I still bought them anyways because they're awesome movies. And on Monday, I went to Sunrise Records and I bought two DVDs and four Blu-rays from there. And before we start the update, I'm also going to show you guys a VHS player that I bought at the old Stracona Mall when I went there on Saturday. And here's the uh, VHS player that I bought. Unfortunately, it didn't come with a remote, but that's okay. And it comes with a video in and audio in output right there. Well, not the wires for it, but it has the outputs for it. And this thing was manufactured by Energy. And on the back, it has a a red out and a white audio output and it comes with these two things one of these things is bent or probably broken but I think I could probably be able to fix it but maybe I'll do that later now I need to get a a CRT TV that'll run a VHS player because none of my TVs will work with it and also I kinda wanna get a CRT TV just for the vibe if you know what I'm saying so that's the VHS player that I bought and now I'm going to show you guys the VHS tapes that I bought. Now like I said before, three of these VHS tapes are ones that I do own, are movies that I do have on Blu-ray. But I'll point out the ones that I do own on Blu-ray as we go buy them. So I don't really have too much else to say so I'm just going to go ahead and start the update. So without further ado, let's start the update. So the first VHS is an, is one of the movies that I do have on Blu-ray. And that is the 2000 VHS of The Sixth Sense. And this is the exclusive video bonus edition with some bonus material at the end of the tape. This is a 1999 movie starring Bruce Willis and was nominated for six Academy Awards including Best Picture. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, here's the front. Spine. The other spine, top, and the back. And this movie also stars Tony Collette, Olivia Williams, and Haley Joel Osment. And the bonus material that includes that that comes right after the tape, after the movie, includes a conversation with M. Night Shyamalan, interviews, I mean, interviews with the cast, and the rules and the clues. And that's the bonus material that's on at the end of the tape after the movie. And this is a Hollywood Pictures movie co-produced with Spyglass Entertainment. Rated 14A and the total running time is 107 minutes. And here's the tape itself and it's in an ink label. And right here it says recommend this thriller to friends. And the print date for this tape is April 21st, 2000. And right here it says BVHE, which stands for Buena Vesta Home Entertainment, which is basically non-Disney, but Disney at the same time, if you know what I mean. And I have seen this movie before, and I do own it on Blu-ray, and it's a great movie. Very good directorial debut for M. Night Shyamalan. Uh, pretty good director. Well, some of his movies can be a hit or miss. And I know that M. Night Shyamalan is coming out with a new movie called Old, which I'm actually pretty excited for. It's supposed to be coming out next month. I'll go see it when it comes out, maybe. 
Oh, and also the movie theaters in my area are going to be reopening soon. It's about time if you ask me. So anyways, that's The Sixth Sense. And the next VHS we have here is the 1996 VHS release of Brian's Song. This is a 1971 movie with James Cann and Billy D. Williams. And I know that this is also a made-for-TV movie, but this is a movie I've been wanting to check out for a while. The true story of two friends who face heroic odds. Spine. The other spine. Top. And the back. And this movie also stars Jack Warden, Shelley Fabres, and Judy Pace. This is a Columbia Pictures movie. Rated G and the running time, which is blocked by the sticker. The running time is 74 minutes, so it's a kind of a short movie. Not too long of a movie. And here's the tape. And don't mind my dog barking, just ignore him. And there is no print date on the tape. There's nothing on the... There's no printing on here at all. And I haven't watched this movie yet, but I hear nothing but great things about it. And I'll have to give this movie a watch sometime. I know it's considered to be one of the best made-for-TV movies ever made. So I'll sit down and give this movie a watch at some point and see what I think of it. So anyways, that's Brian's song. And the next VHS is another one that I do have on Blu-ray. And that is the 1997 VHS of The Shawshank Redemption. And this is a 1994 movie with Tim Robbins and Morgan Freeman. And if you've seen some of my previous videos, you will know that this is my favorite movie of all time. It's a fantastic movie. And, um, yeah, it's just a fantastic movie. Oh, Goddamn dogs. Just ignore the dogs. This is my dog, Wilbur. He's just being annoying right now. So anyways, here's the front. Spine. The other spine. Top. And the back. A monumental achievement says Rod Laurie of the Los Angeles Magazine. Superb says Jeffrey Leons of Sneak Previews slash PBS TV. And this movie also stars Bob Gunton, William Sadler, Clancy Brown, Gil Bellows, and the late James Whitmore as Brooks. And those are all the special features. This movie was originally released by Columbia Pictures, but it looks like Warner Brothers owns the rights to it, like they do today. And it's co-produced with Castle Rock Entertainment. Rated 14A in Canada and in the United States, rated R for language and prison violence, and the running time is 142 minutes. And here's the tape, and it's all an ink label. Print date, December 31st, 1998. And I have seen this movie before, and it's a fantastic movie. And like I said before, it's my favorite movie of all time. If you've never seen it, definitely check it out. It's a great movie. And I'll be right back. I'm going to go stop the dog at what he's barking at. So just give me a second. I'll be right back. Well, I'm back. And sorry about that. That was just my dog barking. He was just barking at my other dog. He was just playing with my other dog. But if he still barks, just ignore him. I'm just going to ignore him too. So anyways, let's get back to the update. So the next VHS we have here is actually a VHS tape that was sealed when I got it. And that is the 1996 VHS release of True Grit. And it's the original, and it's part of the Best of the West collection. This is a 1969 movie with John Wayne, Glenn Campbell, and Kim Darby. And uh, yeah, anyways, here's the front. Spine. The other spine top and the back and this movie also stars Jeremy Slate, Robert Duvall, Struther, Struther Martin and those are the cast members the other cast members and my dog is still barking I'm just gonna ignore him and this is rated PG in Canada and rated G in the United States. And the running time is 128 minutes. Here's the tape. It's very brand new as you can tell. 
Uh, no print date because the sticker is blocking it. I'm just going to leave the sticker on it. But yeah, there's no print date on this tape. So, uh, yeah. And I haven't watched this movie yet, but I hear it's supposed to be pretty good. And I do have the remake from 2010 on Blu-ray and a steelbook. I also haven't seen that one yet. But when I watch both movies, I'll do a review of them one day. Well... We'll see about that. And the next VHS is another one that I also have on Blu-ray. And that is the 1996 VHS release of Seven. This is a 1995 movie with Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman. A nerve-jangling thriller with a gut-wrenching climax as Peter Travers a Rolling Stone. Gluttony, greed, sloth, envy, wrath, pride, and lust. Seven Deadly Sins, Seven Ways to Die. Spine, the other spine, top, and the back. Superior to the Sons of the Lambs, says Jonathan Rosenbaum of the Chicago Reader. Seven Gets a Ten, says Joel Siegel of Good Morning America. Seven Will Knock You Out of Your Seat, says NBC TV Los Angeles. Yeah, I just ignore him. And this movie also stars Gwyneth Paltrow and John C. McGinney. And McGinley is what it says, actually. I misread that. And this is a new line cinema movie. And this VHS was released by Alliance Video. Rated 18A and the running time is 2 hours and 7 minutes. And here's the tape. Uh, no print date on this tape, but there is some printing, but I don't know what it means, but there's no print date on it at all. And it says V, uh, this V I R or V T R is what it says on that side. And I have seen this movie before, mostly because I have it on, on Blu-ray and it's a great movie and it's also my favorite David Fincher movie. Definitely check it out if you haven't seen it, but I'm sure you may have heard of it because it's a it's a classic movie from the 90s. So anyways, that's seven. And the next VHS is actually a movie that I used to have on DVD and was planning to get on Blu-ray, but I'm still planning to get it on Blu-ray. But if I do find it on Blu-ray, I'll still keep my VHS copy of it. And that is the 2002 VHS of The Others. This is a 2001 movie starring Nicole Kidman. Suspenseful, says the New York Observer. A wicked twist of an ending, says Rolling Stone. Sooner or later, they will find you. Spine. The other spine. Top. And the back. Sizzles with suspense, shock, and surprises, says ABC Radio. And this movie also stars... Fionula Flanagan, Christopher Eccleston, Elaine Cassidy, Eric Sykes... Alakini, a man, James Bentley, and Renee Asherson. And this is a Dimension Films movie co produced with Cruz Wanger Productions. Rated PG, and the running time is an hour and 44 minutes or 104 minutes. And here's the tape. And the timing on the thing is a little bit wrong. It says an hour and 41 minutes, but when it should really be saying an hour in 44 minutes. And some of the ink is a little faded or something on the side, but that's okay. No print date, but it does say this is tape one out of six or something like that, whatever that's supposed to mean. And I have seen this movie, I've seen it twice, and it's a great movie. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's a very good ghost movie, and it's actually pretty creepy, too. And I do like the twist at the end, and um, overall, it's a great movie. So anyways, that's The Others, and it's kind of hot in here. I'm kind of starting to sweat. It's hot outside, and I have the window open, and it's not doing anything better. But whatever, I'm going to have to deal with it. So anyways, the last VHS we have here is the 1999 VHS release of The Silence of the Lambs. This is part of the MGM Contemporary Classics. This is a 1991 movie with Jodie Foster, Anthony Hopkins, and Scott Glenn. 
and was an Oscar winner for Best Picture. So anyways, here's the front, spine, the other spine, top, and the back. A knockout, the most exciting thriller in years, says the New York Times. Shockingly powerful thriller, says New York Magazine. Stunning, says the Los Angeles Times. Spellbinding, says the Hollywood Reporter. Horrific, weirdly erotic, and intimate. This terrifying thriller is an electrifying exercise in suspense is Newsweek. And this movie also stars Ted Levine. And anyways, this is rated R in Canada and the United States. And the running time is an hour and 58 minutes. And here's the tape. And it's got a little error with the running time on the tape. And the print date for this tape is December 6th, 1999. And I haven't watched this movie yet, but I hear nothing but great things about it. And I know it's a classic, but I'll have to give this movie a watch at some point, sometime soon. So anyways, that's The Silence of the Lambs. And now onto the DVDs, which both of these DVDs are TV seasons. And the first DVD we have here is the 2015 DVD release of The Americans, the complete third season. And this season also originally aired in 2015. So, uh, yeah, anyways, here's the front, spine, and the back. Four stars is Robert Bianco of the USA Today. The best ongoing drama series on television says Tim Goodman of The Hollywood Reporter. And special features include deleted scenes and the Cold War for Paige. And this is an FX original series. Not rated, but it is rated 14A in Canada. And the running time is 450 minutes. And here's this one with episodes 1, 2, and 3. Here's this two with episodes 4, 5, 6, and 7. Here's this disc 3 with episodes 8, 9, 10, and 11. And, whoa, what the hell? I uh, didn't stay. Weird. And here's this four with episodes 12 and 13. And here's what the inside looks like. And has the episode list right there. And The Americans is a really, really great show. I really enjoy it. I'm actually currently on the second season, but I'm almost finished the second season. And now I'll be on the third season pretty soon. So, um, yeah, it's a really great show. Definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. It's pretty underrated, in my opinion. And if you've seen the thumbnail, I'm sure you know what this next and last DVD will be. And that is the 2016 DVD release of The Americans, the complete fourth season. And this season also aired in 2016. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, here's the front, spine, and the back. A tight wire tension axe is Mark Dalowick of the Cleveland dealer, I mean, plane dealer. Indisputably excellent period thriller is Ben Travis of Indie Wire. And special features includes deleted scene and extended scene. And it's rated 14A and the total run time, running time is 605 minutes. And part of the case is damaged right there, but that's okay. It was like that when I got it, but that's all right. So anyways, here's this one with episodes 1, 2, and 3. Here's this 2 with episodes 4, 5, 6, and 7. Here's this 3 with episodes 8, 9, and 10. And here's this 4 with episodes 11, 12, and 13. And here's what the inside looks like. With uh, this side, it has Philip, Paige, and Elizabeth on, on that side. And on this side, it has um, Stan, uh, what's Nina, or whatever the Russian chick, chick's name is. And um, I can't remember his name, but he's that one Russian guy, but I can't remember his name. Man, I'm sweating in here. And uh, yep, yeah, now I have the fourth season. And now I'll have to get seasons five and six, and then I'll have the whole series. I'll get those at some point when I get to the fourth season. So anyways, that's The Americans, the complete fourth season. And now onto the Blu-rays, which 
Uh, just give me one second. I'm going to open the door really quickly. It's really hot in here and I'm sweating. I got to open the door. So just give me one second. There we go. I think that'll be better. I just have to open my bedroom door because it's really hot in here. But yeah. So anyways, now onto the Blu-rays. Which the first Blu-ray we have here is the 2021 Blu-ray release of Minari. This is a 2020 movie written and directed by Lee Isaac Chung. And it was nominated for six Academy Awards including Best Picture, Best Actor, Best Supporting Actress, and Best Director. Which it did win the Best Supporting Actress Award. The best movie you'll find anywhere about what it means to be a family is Peter Travers of Good Morning America. So, um, yeah, anyways, here's the front, spine, the other spine, and the back. It's wonderful. See it. You'll love it, says Joel Morgenstern of the Wall Street Journal. Stephen Yun is nothing less than masterful, says C.E. Allen Johnson of the San Francisco Chronicle. And I'm going to take off the slipcover really quickly. And this movie stars Stephen Yun, Yuri Han... Alan Kim, Noel K. Cho, with Ya, Jun, Yeon, and Will Patton. Special features includes audio commentary with writer-director Lee Isaac Chung, and actress Young Jun, Yeon, and deleted scenes. And this is an A24 movie co-produced with Plan B, and this Blu-ray was released by Elevation Pictures. Rated PG, and the running time is an hour and 55 minutes. And here's the disc. And here's the digital code, which if you live in Canada, this code will only work if you live in Canada. So if you live in Canada and want to enter it, go right ahead. This code expires on May 18th, 2035. And as an ad, join the Elevation Pictures film crew, sign up. Whatever that's supposed to be. go and I wanted to go see this movie in the theaters but unfortunately I missed out because the theaters were closed but they are thankfully going to be reopening up again soon so unfortunately because of the theaters being closed I missed out on seeing this movie in theaters but now that I have it on blu-ray I'll be able to watch it whenever I want to and I will definitely give this movie a watch sometime soon so anyways that's Minari and the next Blu-ray we have here is the 2015 Blu-ray release of The Fifth Element. This is a 1997 movie with Bruce Willis, Gary Oldman, Ian Holm, and Mila Jovovich. So, um, yeah, anyways, here's the front, spine, and the back. High voltage fonts is Des and Howie of the Washington Post. And this movie also stars Chris Tucker. Special features includes the visual element, the digital element, the fashion element, imagining the fifth element, the elements of style, the star element, the el alien element, fast track, and the diva. And those are all the special features. And this is a Columbia Pictures movie. Rated PG and the running time is 126 minutes. And here's the disc. And I've been wanting to watch this movie for a while, and I hear nothing but great things about this movie. So I'll have to sit down and give this movie a watch at some point. I hear it's supposed to be a really good sci-fi movie from the 90s. So anyways, that's The Fifth Element. And the next Blu-ray we have here is the 2019 Blu-ray release of Lost Highway. This is a 1997 movie with Bill Pullman, Patricia Arquette, and Balthazar Getty, I believe that's how you pronounce his name. I don't know, though. And it's a David Lynch film. So anyways, here's the front, spine, and the back. And this is a Kino Lor Lorber Blu-ray release. This is the first Kino Lorber Blu-ray I ever bought. And this movie also stars... 
Robert Blake, Natasha Gregson Wanger with Gary Busey and Robert Logia. I don't know how you pronounce that last name. And there are no special features on this Blu-ray, unfortunately, but that's okay. It is a Universal movie, but I think it was originally a Polygram movie, but I'm not sure, though. But right here, it also says the Focus Features logo, but I don't think that logo is going to be shown at all because Focus Features wasn't a thing until 2002. So anyways, this is rated R for... Rated R for bizarre, violent and sexual content and for strong language and the running time is 134 minutes and here's the disc and I haven't seen it yet but it is a David Lynch movie and I'd like to check it out and since it's a David Lynch movie I expect it to be a pretty strange movie like all his other movies are strange and weird but great so anyways that's Lost Highway and the last Blu-ray we have here is the 2013 Blu-ray release of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. This is the 25th anniversary edition. This is a 1988 movie. And it was presented by Steven Spielberg. And it was directed by Robert Zemeckis. So, um, yeah, anyways, here's the front spine and the back. And this movie stars the late Bob Hoskins, Christopher Lloyd, Charles... Flesher, I think I said that right, and Joanna Cassidy, and this boot, and the special features are digitally restored, the Roger Rabbit, Roger Rabbit shorts, Tummy Troubles, Roller Coaster Rabbit Trail mix up, Who Made Roger Rabbit mini documentary hosted by Charles Fitcher, the voice of Roger Rabbit audio concert with filmmakers Robert Zemeckis, Frank Marshall, Jeffrey Price, Peter Seaman. Steve Starkey and Ken Ralston, Toontown Confidential, viewing option with integrity and hilarious facts and trivia, deleted scenes, the pig head sequence with filmmaker's commentary before and after, split screen comparison with and without animation, behind the ears, the true story of Roger Rabbit, an exclusive in-depth behind the scenes documentary, tune stand-ins, featurettes, rehearsing with stand-ins for, for the tunes, on the set, Benny the Cab, The Valiant Files, an interactive setup, top gallery, and more. And those are all the special features. It's quite a bit of special features, actually. And this is a Touchstone Pictures movie, co produced with Amblin Entertainment. Rated PG in both Canada and the United States. And the running time is. Uh, where's the running time? 104 minutes. So, here's the disc with the Blu-ray, and here's the disc with the DVD. And I haven't watched this movie yet, but I've been wanting to watch this movie for a while, because I hear nothing but pretty good things about it, so I'll have to sit down and give it a watch sometime soon. So anyways, that's Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And that's going to be it for this video, you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please leave a like, please leave a comment below, and subscribe for more videos like this. And feel free to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram usernames are right on the screen. And also feel free to follow me on my letterbox. My letterbox username is on the screen and in the description down below. And I do apologize for the interruptions that happened while I was making this video. But I do apologize for that. So once again, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. And until next time, uh, stay tuned for more videos. And once again, thanks again, thanks again for watching. And until next time, this is Keegan Shepard signing off. Thanks again for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.